you might notice that there are fewer results in Oxford because you're actually searching fewer resources than we did in Credo and Gale. Uh, just like with Credo, we're not just searching encyclopedias in Oxford. We have other reference sources thrown in there, like dictionaries. Clicking on that title again, it shows me the complete entry, and then the same tools exist as little icons up top here. So one last thing before I let you finish this lecture, let's go back to the Barber Library homepage. Again, clicking on that library services right up top. If you remember the module two lecture, the resources by subject page allows us to look at subject specific resources, including reference sources. So I have the five icons right here. Let's click on that resources by subject. And then let's scroll down to the social sciences discipline, uh, the subject that is relevant to our Salem Witch Trial search. Now I see headers that separate the Barber Library resources, just like on the homepage, the books, movies, and more, the articles and more, and then here is the encyclopedias and more. Now, instead of databases where I'm searching a ton of different encyclopedias, or maybe even dictionaries, almanacs, etc., cetera, um, in one search, uh, I'm just now searching one encyclopedia at a time. So while this might not seem as good as searching a lot at a time, think about all of the results that we were getting in Credo and Gale, and you would never read all 150 of the entries we found there. That's because we were finding results in encyclopedias that weren't necessarily relevant to us. But I, if I searched for my terms in just one encyclopedia, like this Encyclopedia of Witchcraft in America, uh, my result list will be much smaller, but my result list, list will be much more relevant um, by searching just one subject-specific encyclopedia. 